There are quite a lot of strategies that let you import data into R. And the first of two strategies that we'll look at in this clip is the function read.table. This function takes as the first argument the file to import, where R expects the path to the file, then whether your file contains a header, which our file does. So we will need to specify this argument to overrule the default false. The argument sep is the field separator or delimiter which is comma in our first data set. So we will need to override this default as well. The argument quote refers to the text delimiter. Note that the values of the arguments sep and quote need to be put in quotes themselves. The argument dec refers to how decimal numbers are represented. Our data set has the period as a decimal separator, which is also the default, but set this to a comma if your decimal separator is a comma. This usually happens on a lot of continental European operating systems. The other arguments we can often leave as is, but explore them with the help of Google and R help pages if you encounter problems none of the other attempts at troubleshooting fix. So for the first example, we type read.table parentheses, and then we could type the path to the file in quotes if we know it. If you don't know the path, use the function file.choose parentheses in this position and we'll see in a moment what it does. We then need to specify that our file contains a header by setting header to true. Then set the field separator sep to comma and the text delimiter to quotes. Note that I need to escape the double quotes with the backslash so R knows how to tell the value quote from the quotes that surround the value. Also make sure that you don't forget the commas between the arguments, that's a very common mistake. The decimal argument has a period as a default, which is what we want, so we don't have to specify the deck argument. Now before we hit enter, we assign this to an object, let's call it my students, comma. And when we hit enter, a dialog opens because of the function file.choose. Now select your comma separated file and click OK. A data frame my students comma is imported now with 18 observations of four variables. We'll import our second file, the tab separated one, with a different command called read.delim parentheses, which is actually just like read table, except that its default values are almost opposite. For example, read.delim assumes a header by default and a tab as a default separator and double quotes as the quotes value. So if you import a file that has all these settings by default, a header, a tab as field delimiter, quotes as a text delimiter, and a period as decimal separator, it may be as easy as specifying the path only or using file.choose command and assigning it to my students tab. Just make sure that the file you select is actually the file that is tab separated. Both file formats have now been imported and are stored in our environment as data frames containing 18 observations of four variables each. Just to illustrate a common mistake, suppose we select the comma separated file with a function where the settings are tab as separator, which we'll do here with the previous command, assigning it to an object wrong file, and then select the comma separated file. Now R will import it, but the columns will not be correctly separated. This happens because your import settings don't match the settings for your data file. If you look up the help pages for read.table, you'll see different derivatives of that function, including read.delim. There are many settings, so you have to find a command that's best for your data format. We can use any of these functions on almost any CSV or text file. It's just that some have other default settings and may save you typing. So remember, you have a lot of options, so make sure the format of your data file matches the format of the import settings. If things go wrong, that's where you check first.